Until the 80s, for people who had never visited Thailand, Muay Thai was a completely unknown martial art. While in Brazil, Jiu-Jitsu developed and, according to residents, claimed to be the best battle system in the world. In America, it was believed that kickboxing and karate have no equal. But it's very difficult to check it since UFC hadn't been invented yet. But in 1988, there was a very significant event for the whole world of martial arts. The unbeaten top-end kickboxer Rick Rufus, whose record was 28-0, and he was considered one of the best fighters of that time. He decides to prove that American kickboxing is superior to Thai boxing, and the Thai will not have a chance with a fighter like him. His rival was Chang Poi Kitsongrit, who was one of the first who decided to travel outside of Thailand to show Thai boxing to the world. In the fight with Rufus, the Thai arsenal of punches was limited to the maximum. The rules forbade elbows, throws, grabs, and the clinch immediately burst. That is, the Thai went to battle according to the rules of the American kickboxing, and blows below the waist were also prohibited. But in this fight, he was allowed to be a low kick. This fight was dubbed the clash of kickboxing and Thai boxing. Although the Thai arsenal was very limited, and most importantly, this fight was shown on television to a huge audience around the world. I've seen the ceremony takes longer than the fight. Let's hope that's not the case here. As we're just about ready. Now these will be three minute rounds with a one minute break, Just my understanding. And so the first round, an aggressive start from Rick, which is very fast on his feet. He throws a series of blows and instantly leaves the line of fire, although the tie hits him low kick. A right and a left by Rufus. Rufus moving around very well. Spinning back kick into the belly. That hurts. As we can see, Chang Peng works in the left stance, which means that Rufus's right leg is in great danger. Rick inflicts a lot of punches in fights, and Chang seems to have put a big bet on the fact that the American will finish with a low kick. The first knockdown, but the dance gets to his feet and immediately flies into the second knockdown. It seems that Rick decided to finish the opponent in the first round, but Chang managed to survive and the fight goes into the second segment. The second round and low kicks from Chang continue to crash into the right leg of an American who seems to be starting to realize how much it hurts. In the middle of the second round, it becomes noticeable that for Rufus, the blows with low kicks become a real problem and he doesn't even understand how to escape from them. But Chang successfully uses his plan for the fight, which was to destroy Rufus's leg. And here's the knockdown from Chang, who acted a rather dirty stepping on a recumbent American after the fall. At the end of the round, Rick did not hit the tie head kick badly, but this did not stop his stream of low kick kicks from the tie intended for the American. This is a 
have 10 to 8 or 10 to 9, but he lost two points because of Ryder not used to these rules in the long red pants. Kit Songred is not used to being hit. Then Kit Songred, a tough young man, oh. Rufus, as he is fighting from the right side, comes up with a good uppercut. The third round, and it could be noticed that the tie has an opportunity to win. Chang pursues Rick and continues to break the kicker's foot with his ruthless blows. But they're too far extended to really have a lot of sting on. And he's also not, he's also not in it. Rufus with a good kick into the ribs. Too brave here. He doesn't really have much to lose in this thing. He ought to just forget it right now if his legs. Listen, we're talking about a potential world champion here. And you're just kickboxing. Rick Rufus. In round four, Rick frankly escapes from the tie because he can no longer take the hidden blows that fly into his leg and cause him a lot of pain. He's never been hit the way Rufus can hit him. And Rufus is hurt now. Kid Sondra's looking very, very strong now. He's obviously extremely aggressively coming in with those leg kicks. Well, he knows, uh, clearly, and the referee, Tom Schlesinger, has stopped this fight, and probably that's a very smart thing to do. After the fight, the doctors render assistance to Rick, since the leg injury was very serious, and his brother Duke Rufus gives an interview in which he understates the tie merit, saying that it did not require a lot of skills to apply these blows to the legs, thereby refusing to recognize the strength of Thai boxing and low kick in particular. Although, just before his eyes, the Thai defeated all kickboxing with one blow and destroyed the best fighter of that era. This fight became a huge popularization of Muay Thai around the world and gave a powerful impetus to its development. And Duke Rufus himself later also brought new elements to his arsenal and admitted that he had very much changed his mind on the account of low kicks. And in the future, he became a first-class trainer in the percussion technique and is considered one of the best Muay Thai trainers outside of Thailand. That's all for today, my friends. Don't forget to press the like button if you enjoyed the video. See you soon.